Hey everyone, welcome back to Triple R Reefer. I want to talk about vibrant, vibrant dosing. I'm also going to mention another thing that people use, and I'm going to talk about why I would never use it. Probably be a short video because it really isn't much to talk about when it comes to that stuff. Vibrant, people use it. But do yourself a favor before you vibrant dose your tank. Go Google reviews of vibrant. Tank crash from vibrant. Corals dying from vi vibrant. That stuff is poison. I'm out. I don't like it. It's too risky. Not worth the risk. There's just other better things out there. I have seen people be successful with it, but I've seen more people be not successful. And I always talk about risk versus reward. Why would you risk so much for bubble algae or just algae in general? Too much risk. I'm out. Seen people, all my SPS died after I started dosing vibrant. All my colors started looking like crap after dosing vibrant. If it's working for you, that's great. Keep it up. That's, I, I'm not trying to knock a little, little frag there. I'm not trying to knock the people that are using it. I'm talking to the people that are thinking about using it. Highly recommend not. This guy's coloring up too. Highly recommend not. Just do your due diligence and do some research on people that have used it. It's not something that I feel is safe for a reef tank. And those uh, reviews and, and comments will back that statement up. I use Nopox. There's plenty of videos out there where people have screwed their tanks with Nopox, but that's how you dose it, okay? There's a very big difference there. <clears throat> anyway, lastly, Oh, this might be my shortest video. Lastly, I'm going to talk about... Leave my claim alone. I'm going to talk about flatworm exit. Another one. Do not use it. Do not use it. There's better things out there, biological things out there, such as wrasses. I know a little bit about those guys. I got a few. Wrasses will destroy some flatworms. Mandarins, there's all kinds of fish that will eat flatworms. And in most cases, probably 95% of cases, they're never going to reach a population with a decent uh, pest control fish to bother your corals. Now let me tell you about the, the stuff I've seen with people using it. Absolutely murked their tank. And I mean their fish too. There's a way to use that stuff it involves water changes, sucking out as many as you can. You know what I never feel like I get a video of? Clean this glass a little bit. Hold up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's get some Jason Fox Jolt. Look at that freaking beaut. Stay on that monkey for a minute. Uh, anyway, you gotta, you gotta get as many out as possible. Be ready to do a, a pretty good water change. Follow the instructions, then some. Do not use flatworm exit. Golly, I can't stress that enough. Don't use it. It's not worth the risk. If there's any doubt in that, please uh, check out the reviews of people saying their fish died, corals died, tank nuked, flatworm exit. Don't do it. And if you have done it, it's worked excellent. But I'm talking to the people that hadn't used it. Again. I've dealt with flatworms before. Try to guess what I used. Rasses. Let them rasses do the work. It's food. It's free food. I see them a lot in the sump because there's no fish down there, usually. But uh, I just had this leopard wrasse in there. I'll zoom in still. 
Oh, yeah. I've got leopard rats in there, watching him just picking them off the glass. They're harmless in most cases. I'll tell you what's not harmless is, uh, is the aqua-eating flatworms. This does not apply. Does not apply. Also, the flatworm, uh, what's it called? Damn it. The polyclad flatworm does not apply. That guy, you got to dip some corals. Yeah, they may, may try to bicker some. I think they'll be able to figure it out. Does not apply. So, I will say that. That's a little caveat there. All right, everyone. Five-minute video. Going to be six probably when I'm finished. Thanks again for watching this one. If you got any comments you want to add to this, please do. If there's anything you recommend not using in your tank, please put that in the comments as well. That's it for this one. I'll see y'all on the next one.